The new European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, is promising a new Green Deal for Europe. Here on The Brief from Brussels, we're taking a look at one sector which that would affect greatly, farming. Alarming numbers for the future of agriculture. According to the European Environment Agency, climate change may lead to a severe loss of production or even the abandoning of certain crops. Research suggests the effects of climate change could force wheat, beet and maize production down by 50% by 2050 in southern Europe. But answers and action remain elusive. Using less uh, oil, for example, new uh, engines in, in the machinery, and be more efficient modern machinery, and also, but also, of course, it's very important that we talk about breeding technology. Lower yields and higher production costs. It impacts the quality of products, and producers will have to adapt. Environmental NGOs are calling for a change in the EU's common agricultural policy to help producers diversify crops. Policies up until now have been uh, driven farmers to become bigger and bigger, more industrialized, and therefore to have uh, a fields which are basically based on monocrops, one single crop, and when that crop is hit by uh, a, a drought or another climate shock, the entire system, the entire farming system is set to fail. Agriculture accounts for 10% of greenhouse gas emissions in the EU. But <laughs> The European Parliament is backing Christine Lagarde to be the next president of the European Central Bank. Lawmakers in Strasbourg voted 394 in favour and 206 against. The former IMF head is set to become the first woman to hold the ECB's top post. Brussels has given the green light to a major overhaul of Germany's electricity market. EU Competition Commissioner Margrethe Vestager approved a complex deal between industry giants RWE and E.ON Energy. It involves asset swaps leading to both groups exiting rival businesses.